I'm Anna Lasbury, and this is my Andy. What's up everybody, it's me, Seth, here for Doing Indie. You know what, we're at a place called Beef and Boards. Now, Beef and Boards, it's like this, you know, dinner theater. It's the premier dinner theater in Indianapolis. And obviously I know what beef means, but I have no idea what the hell board means. But we're gonna find out on this episode of Doing Indie. All right, so as I said in the intro, we're here at Beef and Boards, and I don't know what boards means, but we're going to find out because we're with Eddie Curry, who is not the basketball player Eddie Curry. Uh, no, he's the casting director. I always wanted to be the basketball player. Did you? What, was, what were you missing? Talent? Oh, okay. <laughs> Talent was, yeah, yeah, thank you. That's what, exactly what it was. Same reason I'm not a basketball player. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, talent. So tell us really what Beef and Boards is about, because obviously it is the, it's the premier dinner theater in Indianapolis, but what, really, what does the boards mean? I'm, I'm confused. Well, the boards uh, represents the planks on the stage. Okay. So beef and boards, you're getting your dinner and your entertainment. Yeah. And, and really, that's what Beef and Boards is all about. It's that it's all inclusive in one spot. Uh, you don't have to worry about parking. You don't have to worry about where you're going to eat before the show and drinks before and after the show because it's all right here in this building. You can drink here? Oh sure, a lot if you want. <laughs> How long has Beef and Boards been around? Uh, this is our 35th season. Now, tonight we're seeing The Sound of Music and you guys do a number of different plays throughout the year, typically a lot of musicals. Mainly musicals, yeah. uh, occasionally we'll do a comedy thrown in there. The 2009 season is a lot of new and old shows for us. The first show is Don't Dress for Dinner, which is a comedy. We're also bringing back the best-selling show of all time for Beef and Boards, Cats. Oh, really? Uh, and then uh, this summer we'll be doing Annie again. Oh, and you know, we've done Annie, maybe this will be the fourth time since I've been here in the last 20 years, but it's always a big seller. What do you think it is that uh, that keeps people, you know, coming back to uh, to Beef and Boards? Is it a combination of the food and the acting, or is it really just the food? I think it's a lot of tradition. I think a lot of people come here. It's like you know the people who buy Colt season tickets or Pacers season tickets or season tickets to the opera. I think it's something that becomes a tradition for that couple or for that family. It's also a great place to come for those special occasions like anniversaries and birthdays and a lot of times people will discover Beef and Boards doing something like that or coming to a special concert event and then they make it a part of their annual Tra tradition every February we always go to beef and boards now tonight's play sound of music uh, we're excited because Anna Lasbury who's a friend of the show is part of is part of the cast um, can we go down and meet some of the people down there oh sure and, and we'll meet Anna and we'll meet some of the uh, adult actors as well it's a great group back there uh, I'm looking forward to it thanks so much for your time but I, I, I gotta go see the actors absolutely all right so this right here this is Dan Devonport Dan is the the lead here in The Sound of Music and uh, the lead male, I should say. Yeah, but one of the two. I, I was just I don't, I don't think people would confuse that. Right. Considering, so. <laughs> yeah, not with the facial hair, I don't think so. <laughs> so how long have you been uh, working here at Beef and Boards or just acting in Indianapolis in general? Well, actually, I've been at Beef and Boards for two weeks and I've been acting in Indianapolis for two weeks. Really? It's only my second time to Indianapolis. Now, where, yeah, are, you, in my where are you from? I live in New York City. Yeah. I'm an actor out of New York City and I um, was actually here seven years ago uh, on the national tour of the Music Man. We played the Murat, oh. so I was here for a week then. Actually, when I was on tour, this is one of the few cities uh, that we came to that I had never been to that I was really, really pleasantly surprised. And now this is Christine. She's playing Maria, the female lead in The Sound of Music. And you are not from Indianapolis as well. You are from? Hershey, Pennsylvania, but I live in New York City. Now, is this your first time to Indy? No, I was, um, I did Thoroughly Modern Millie last year. And here? I played here, yeah. yeah, and I played Millie, so. Now, how do you like great. the city? Are you, are you, they treat you well? I, we love this city, actually. My parents are coming out again this weekend, and we love the restaurants downtown, and we've had a really good time, you know, going to the Indy 500, mm -hmm. and so, yeah, we've enjoyed it here. It's a very cool city, and I have to ask, what, what do you think about working with all these kids? Because, see, I don't, I'm married and I don't have kids, and if I, if I had to be around all these kids all the time, 
I just, I want to hit a, I know what I do. <laughs> well, we have to be careful. There are laws. Yes, we can't use any, any of our adult jokes. And um, I'm actually thinking about having children soon. Really? So this is a good test for me. This is a good me. test this for This is you, a very yeah. good test for me to see if I'm, and since Marie is supposed to be so great with kids, right. this is good. If you find yourself wanting to like run up behind, you know, Anna, and like just <laughs> forearm shiver her yeah. in the back of the head, probably proof you shouldn't, I shouldn't have, have kids. I shouldn't have children. Yeah. 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 So. <sighs> so this right here is really the star of our show. This is my good friend, Anna Lasbury, and Anna is featured here on this Doing Indie because this is your indie. You wanted us to come out and check out what you're doing at Beef and Boards and performing here. So first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you. And and first, isn't she adorable? Look at her. She's great. Oh, and she's a ham too. That's what we love about Anna. How do I do it? I do. <laughs> so tell me, Anna, you're in your first play and mm -hmm. you're here at Beef and Boards. What's it like? Are you having a great time on stage? Yeah, it's really fun and I like all, having all the other actors. I think it's great that being in the Sound and Music is my first show because I have all the other actors having the um, like having done the experience before. So it kind of gives me good vibes for what I'm about to be doing and I don't get nervous about it. Maybe they're having a good time not speaking to each other. There has to be some nerves there somewhere. At the beginning of the show, it's kind of nerve-wracking, but once you get into it, it's really fun and exciting. So what what do you think is next for you? Because you know you're 11 years old, this is your first real play, you've done some commercial acting. Mm-hmm. What do you think's next? Well, do you want to do more of this? Yeah, I think I'm actually going to try out for Annie if they are doing auditions for it, so I think that would be fun. And I'm really liking the experience so far, so hopefully there's... Um, there um, more opportunities for me in the future. All right, so. tell all those people right there, all those people watching back there, tell them why should people get out to Beef and Boards and check out The Sound of Music or any other play for that matter. Oh, it's so much fun and you get, it's a great experience for everyone and it's really, it's really exciting and well, you, oh, you get great to, for everybody. Yeah, you get some good food, you get entertainment yeah. and they get to see you. Yeah. So we had a chance to meet the actors backstage. And you know, a lot of them are budding young actors and a lot of them have a lot of great things going for them, but they can always use words of wisdom. And I really can't give it to them, but my grandmother can. And now for a segment we'd like to call Grandma's Life Lessons. Stay in school, don't smoke dope, and eat your cheese. Who needs therapy with lessons like that? Thanks, Grandma. So long, farewell, I'll be the same. Intermission is coming at the sound of music. Let's hear what the people are saying. Are you having fun? Yeah. Is this your first time here? Never been here before. And so what do you think of it? Oh, it's great. Yeah. I absolutely love the little girl that's in it. The really little girl? Yeah. Brigitte? Yeah. No, Gretel. Oh, no, you got to say Brigitte. You like the little girls, don't you? <laughs> No, Gretel. No, Brigitte's okay, actually a friend of ours. Okay, then Brigitte's my yeah, favorite. There you go. Are you getting liquored up? No. 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 Nobody's getting liquored up. Huh? <laughs> I am. <laughs> right now. <laughs> All right, so hey, that's it. We saw Sound of Music, we had a great meal, got to meet some really interesting people here at Beef and Boards. You know, you guys can check all this stuff out here. It's something like 33 to 55 bucks for a ticket, but that includes an awesome meal and a great show. And you never know, I mean, you may learn something, you may start singing along, and you may realize that you actually love musical theater. Who would have known? But you know what, at the least, get out here and check out our buddy, Anna. We love Anna, she's such a great little kid, and she's gonna be a star someday, and you can say, I saw her at Beef and Boards. But the bottom line is people, just get out there and do something. It's that simple. I say it every week. Why don't you listen to me? Why? Okay, let it go. Ooh, find your center. Ooh, ha, ha, ha.
Okay, we we're centered? good. And then we're centered. Yes. Were you rolling? Yeah. Okay, we know. Oh. I know what the hidden clip is. <laughs> I know what the hidden clip is. Yeah. Okay, here we go.